Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's Promo, and today we're going to cover the eight main ways of taking a screenshot on your Samsung Galaxy device. Now, if you have a Samsung Galaxy Note series and you have the S Pen, you'll have an additional one or two more ways, but these are the eight main ways you can take a screenshot that'll work across all Samsung Galaxy devices. Now, out of all eight of these, the first four that we'll cover are just set up in the phone already ready to go. The next two you would have to set up through your voice command. And then the very last two is actually a part of two main applications that most people download anyways if they own a Samsung Galaxy phone. Now, before we dive deep in all eight ways of taking screenshots on your Samsung Galaxy device, and before I share with you my favorite way and most preferred way of taking a screenshot, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button. It is free to join this party. About 83% of you watching this video are non-subscribers. So again, hit that subscribe button if you appreciate the video and you learned something. And don't forget about that bell on the top right hand side, click on all so you get notified for all future videos so you don't miss any future tips and tricks. Now the first method of taking the screenshot on your Samsung phone is the old tried and true way of the physical buttons, which is volume down and power. Now it's not a press and hold, it's just basically a press with both of them at the same time. And it takes a little bit of practice to make sure you don't hit volume down first, because if you hit this one just right before the power, you might get your volume rocker inside of that screenshot. And if you do have a bigger, fatter thumb, the nice thing with the S20 series is that you can press both at the exact same time. So that's also pretty handy. Now, if you're not not able to use the physical buttons to take a screenshot you are able to do a palm swipe to capture so if you hold the phone or if it's on a table you swipe from one end to the other with the side of your palm you can do it from the left to the right or from the right to the left now if yours is not working if it's not turned on what you want to do is go inside of your settings you're going to scroll down to where it says advanced features and then underneath advanced features you're going to scroll down to where it says motions and gestures and then inside of motions and gestures, this is where you turn on palm swipe to capture. This should be on the moment you get your phone. Actually, all of these are the way it's supposed to be when you first get your phone. The only one turned off is smart stay. Now, if palm swipe to capture is not easy enough for you, you can actually go inside of your little edge panel and make sure you have tasks turned on. So underneath the settings for your edge panels, make sure that you have, you know, scroll through here, you turned on tasks because the easiest way and actually my preferred way is this one right here. So all you'd simply have to do is take a screenshot, is open this up, hit one button, boom, done, ready to go. I like this one because it's built into the phone. I don't have to do it by voice. I can do it quietly. I don't have to download another application. It's just gonna be right there. I don't have to hold it a certain way. Don't have to hit physical buttons. So that one is my favorite way to take a screenshot. The next way you can do it is actually through here as well on your edge panel, but it's when you move over into smart select. Now, this is a way that you're able to really customize what you want to take a screenshot of. And maybe you don't want to save it to your phone. You just want to send it off inside of the Twitterverse or inside of Instagram. You can go right over here. If you only wanted to select this area to actually save, you just hit on done. And then this is a way that you can either share it with other people. You can move back and it's not cluttering your gallery like all the other screenshots that are now in there or you can hit on this little uh, down button that can uh, save it to your phone. The nice thing too is sometimes you get into an email or you get into some type of text document that you really can't copy and paste it. You can't press and hold. This is a way that you can actually extract the text from there if you needed to send off something in an email or log into a website. So extracting text is also really nice with this smart select option of taking a screenshot. Now the next two ways of taking screenshots is by voice activated. It's gonna be Bixby as well as Google. Now you first wanna go inside of your Samsung folder or wherever Bixby is located. When you open up Bixby, go on the top left hand side and then on the top right hand side, click on that little settings button. And then you can go right over here into this little voice wake up. You can talk about how the sensitivity is there. Uh, and then inside of here, you can use it even with your phone speakers playing. So if you're listening to music, but I usually have that turned off. The wake up sensitivity, you can put as medium or high. And if you do need to improve your voice wake up accuracy, you can actually just keep on recording, you know, high Bixby and such like that. So then this way you'd be able to get it done. And so it already picked up my voice. So let's do it through this option. Hi Bixby, take a screenshot. And then it takes it just like normal, saves it inside your galleries. So when it comes down to voice activated, uh, Bixby is gonna be my main choice there, not really Google Assistant. I'll show you the reason why. The reason why is this. Hey Google, take a screenshot.
So what happens is it took a screenshot, but then it automatically popped up with ways of sharing it. And you're not having the ability to actually save it to your phone. So this is a way that you can't keep it on the device, but if you need to share something really fast, uh, you can do it that way. But you do have to go through settings to also get this one to work. So how you're able to turn on the Google Assistant to get this done is you wanna click on that little G or go inside the Google Assistant on the bottom. But I'm gonna show you from this, this point of way here. So click on more. Then you go inside of settings and then inside of settings, you go to that Google assistant. So if you went inside your Google assistant instantly, this is the screen that you see, but this is where you want to go to assistant, because again, this is who is trying to take your screenshot, go to the very bottom and click on phone. This is where you can turn on the, Hey Google option, the voice model. If you needed to learn your voice again, but go to the bottom. This is what you need to turn on. If you do not turn on use screen context, it would not be able to take that screenshot for you. And it's just going to load and load and load. And it doesn't take the screenshot or allow you to hit any type of share option. Now, moving over into the last two, these ones are using applications. Now, what I do need to do is actually go inside my settings and I have to change my, my navigation bar. So we're going to go inside of display where you go down to the navigation bar because I do need to have the functions on the bottom, the buttons. And so because you're using full screen gestures, you won't be able to do these two. So with this now changed, and some people do like those little navigation buttons on the bottom anyways, the first one that we're gonna talk about today is going to be inside of Goodlock and it's called Navstar. So Navstar is a way that you're able to customize your own navigation buttons on the very bottom. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go to a new configuration. Uh, these colors are hard to see inside the camera and the light. So these are very light colored pastels uh, button layout. I'm going to go here and I'm going to hit on add button. And now this right over here is where you find the option of screenshot or screen capture. Now, if you want to add in another button, you can, but for this purpose of the video, I just want to show you that you can do it through here and these icons all look perfect. Now we're going to hit on save. And then now that I have it turned on, you can see that the screenshot button is there, tap the little button and it takes a screenshot. So if you use nav bar, you might find this one to be the easiest and most simple way to get a screenshot done. You might also find yourself accidentally hitting this button when you don't want to take a screenshot if you're trying to hit on recents. But back when I was using Navstar and I was customizing all my buttons, this was the easiest way to do it. But because I like my, my gestures, I do prefer, again, this option right over here, which is going to be inside of tasks, boom, take screenshots. So you can do it here through Navstar. And then the very last way is going to be, again, inside of Goodlock, but you don't have to download this one from Goodlock. It's actually inside the family. You can get it from the Play Store. This is the One Hand Operation Plus. Now, when you turn on One Hand Operation Plus, how I have mine set up already, you can actually see it, is I only have turned on my left handle. When you actually open the app for the first time, uh, I don't wanna do anything on the right side. I'm actually okay. But on the left handle here, you can do a swipe or a straight right, and you have all these options of what all of these are able to do. And I just scroll down over into screenshot, and then right over here for the diagonals, you can have it do more stuff, but I have both of them set to none. So now what's gonna happen is now that I have this one all set up, any point in time when I swipe right there, it's gonna take a screenshot for me. Uh, all my navigation buttons are still here. I even still have my screenshot option right there. But let's say that you're inside of an application, you need to take a screenshot and you don't wanna have this little nav bar thing on the bottom, but you are still using the navigation buttons. And what you're able to do is just swipe there Boom, screenshot. So very simple. This is eight different ways of taking a screenshot on your Samsung Galaxy device. Again, if you have a Galaxy Note phone, you do have the S Pen that does allow for a few extra ways of taking a screenshot with the button and everything else. But I hope this, this video was informative. Maybe you learned a new way, but make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.